Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Chicago Bulls of my NBA series. Last episode was the um, season opener against the Nuggets. And uh, I told you, you know, everybody we um, got in free agency, like Max Christie and uh, Stanley Johnson, Alex Caruso, Dillingham, and Nerlens Noel. Since then, there's been a few changes here and there. Um, going on to the second game of the season, Max Christie went off again and we beat the Nets. And then we kind of went on a little bit of a skid. Um, we lost to the Cavs, but a bright spot in that. Um, Max Christie had 45, and then against the Bucks, um, Dame had 49, of course. But Max Christie had 28 and 6, and he was on fire to start the season. Um, 38 from him and Cam Thomas. And this is very limited minutes, 23 minutes right there. And then we lost to Boston, um, which made us 3 and 3. And, you know, that's kind of a bad start for us. But since then, we've gone 10-1. Um, and one, And we beat all these teams this time in the third. But after this this Celtics game, uh, you can see Patrick Williams had two points. And he really, he's been a part of our offense. But since we had the emergence of Max Christie, honestly, Max Christie has been better. Um, and he's also been better defensively than Patrick Williams. He was upset with his role here, and so we wasted no time. I, I know it hurts because Patrick Williams has been with us since day one, um, but we traded him. We traded him to the Sacramento Kings, and you're wondering, who do we get him in exchange for? It was no other than, um, there he is, Keegan Murray, who was averaging seven points per game before he got to our team, was shooting like 30% from three. Uh, since he's arrived, he's been excellent for us, and he's been playing really good ball. Let's see if I can go to the box scores. So I think the first five games were with the Kings. Then this game, he comes with us, and he just starts balling out, and we start winning games. We've lost one game, one game um, since he got to our team. In his first game, he had 30 points. So we bring another guy who can score. He can shoot the three at a high level, and he's also a really good defender. So, I mean, I think this was a win-win trade. Um, Patrick Williams gets a new change of scenery. Keegan gets a change of scenery. Um, we get a better defender and probably the same level of shooter as uh, Patrick Williams. Now he's a year older, but he is, um, I think, the last year of his rookie contract. And I don't think there's a team option in there, so we're going to have to pay him this free agency if we decide to keep him, which also is, is a decision within itself. You know, maybe we find somebody else in free agency we want to uh, have. But the in-season tournament, uh, also another thing, we lost our first game and won our next two. Um, let's go here to the in-season tournament standings. We are second. Now, if we beat, if we win the next game, I'm pretty sure we have, um, I'm pretty sure we have the, uh, advantage in the in-season tournament. So we'll win our group. I don't know. Maybe we get in as a wild card. Uh, but the next team we play is the Boston Celtics. This team is very good. I don't know how they're the eighth seed, but they've got uh, Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Chris Tapps, Aaron Bradshaw. This guy's really good for him. Um, let's see what he's averaging. 14 points per game. Shoots 37% from three. So that's going to be a good team to play against. That's who I wanted to play against. And then uh, if you look here at our guys, what they've been averaging. Cam Thomas, 24 points per game. Five assists. Shooting ridiculous from the field. Uh, Max Christie, 21 points per game, 3 assists, 50-40-90 club, and he's only doing this in 27 minutes per game. Alexander Saar, Defensive Player of the Year, in my opinion, 15-12, uh, 3, 4 blocks per game. Efficiencies went up except from the free throw line. Keegan Murray's been great. Lonzo's been really good as well, picking up where he left off last year. Um, and OG's been okay. Uh, OG has certainly taken a hit in terms of uh, offensive production because he doesn't get the ball much at all anymore. Um, but he's been good defensively. He's an interesting guy. Um, Robert Dillingham, somebody we got in free agency or in the offseason. And he's been pretty good for us. He is our full-time backup point guard now over DeLon Wright. Uh, he just brings more offensively. And he's actually not a bad defender. He's actually a pretty decent defender. Shoots the three ball very well. And he's a good passer. Uh, Josh Elias has been pretty good. Hustle guy for us thus far. Um, Martin Shelton plays. <sighs> Honestly... Um, he might get benched for New Orleans Noel because the minutes that New Orleans Noel does play, he plays very well for us. He protects the rim. Uh, he hasn't gotten a block yet this season, which is hard to believe, but he's been very good for us. And yeah, about it, basically everything else. We signed Seth Curry, uh, just another shooter and another mentor for our other shooters. You see, he's been shooting 40% from three his whole career, which is kind of ridiculous. 
But yeah, that is uh, catching up on everything. And now we play the Boston Celtics and see, you know, where we stack up against this squad. You know, we played them last year. I don't think I ever played them on camera, but when I played them off camera, they were really good. Um, they're they're uh, they match up really good with us. So uh, yeah, let's get into this game against the Celtics. All right here for the game in Boston. This is a tough place to play in. Um, we got a rowdy crowd, and some would say. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, interesting type of crowd there in Boston, much like Utah. But um, let's see. Honestly, probably keep keeping keep Keegan on um, Tatum just to see how he does. Playing pretty good defense right here, and we get the miss, force the miss. Keegan now pulls a three on the break and knocks it down. Nice start for Keegan Murray on both sides of the floor, defensively and offensively. Offense, our, our whole team's personnel, honestly, around. Um, because they shoot the three ball well and they defend at a high level. And they've got some isolation guys. I think that's probably what we have, right? You know, we have um, Cam Thomas can isolate. Um, Max Christie can isolate and score. They shoot the three ball at an elite clip. Lonzo's elite. I think everybody in our starting lineup except for OG and Alexander Saar shoot 40% from three, um, which is ridiculous. Christie, Keegan Murray pulls a deep three, because why not? Keegan Murray testing out the limitless range. Missed it. Murray the board. Christie open three on the break is good. Max Christie from outside in the three-point barrage in this first quarter has us with a three-point lead. Just dominating the glass right now. Christie, pump fake. Pulling it back. It's around walls. Oh my gosh! And Max Christie catching a body on Jalen Brown. Oh my gosh, I didn't know he was gonna do all that. Runs in the first quarter for Alexander Saar. That's a bit ridiculous. Cam Thomas now looking for Robert Dillingham. Didn't get open. Thomas now driving. Corner. Christie open three at the buzzer is good. A great first quarter from Max Christie and a great first quarter from us defensively. Holding this talented Boston team to 23 points. Game. Offense has not been as efficient as I would like it to be. OG now off the screen. Christie open midi. That one's good. 10 points for Max Christie off the bench so far. He's been playing very well. Averaging 21 points per game this season. Tatum, tough three, but they're going to call a foul on OG. Alonzo open for three off the inbound, and he knocks it down. His second triple of the night. He's been shooting the three ball at an extremely high rate. Alonzo now. Elias, corner three is good. Josh Elias getting in on the scoring. Good find there from Lonzo. Holiday. Keegan back to Saar. Saar open for three. And that one he does knock down. Shot there from Alexander Saar. He's got five points, and it's a five-point game. This game starting to it was starting to feel a little out of reach there. So I think we gotta stop. Tatum open three. Misses though. Especially takeover. That's surprising. Keegan, three on the break. Missed it. There's Elias there for the putback slam. Josh Elias, you can always rely on him to follow the ball. Four rebound, and it's a three-point game now. And a foul on Lonzo's third foul. Cam pushing. Pulls it back. Wide open jumper is good. It's a one-point game just like that. 13 for Cam Thomas. Oh, Tatum's wide open. Not going to miss two open shots in a row. And Tatum has 22 points and 14 in this quarter. He's cooking us. Good contest or not, it's going in. Cam Thomas, three over Porzingis. He comes right back at the Celtics with a triple of his own. Cam Thomas has been great tonight. He's got 16. Jalen Brown, three off the screen, in and out. We'll get the stop there. Lonzo, trying to get past Holiday. 
Back to Saar, pump fake. Murray, one more Elias, open three, no. Good ball movement. Found the open guy, just couldn't get it to fall. Holiday, Chris Dabbs jumped for no reason. And we'll run basically the last play of the first half. Dylan him. It's gonna be a shot clock violation. That's so dumb. He got bumped and then he just like lost like all his ability to think and do anything in his life. And Boston is up by six at halftime. Cam Thomas over Porzingis. That one's good. Cam has been very good tonight. 18 points in 18 minutes. 60% from the field as well. Double team. Hmm. It is a double team. Lonzo wide open for three. And if he missed it, Sar would have been there. But Lonzo does not miss from downtown. Cam getting double teamed. I don't remember the last time I've seen that, honestly. Probably like the playoffs since the Pistons. But it's been a while. He hasn't been getting double teamed this season. Tatum for three. That one's good. Jason Tatum is hooping tonight. Finding Sar. Open midi. Can't hit. That is a shot that Sar has to be able to develop pretty soon. Wait, he's a good enough defender. He gets it back. Lonzo for three again. That one's good. Lonzo with his fourth triple of the night. And a good play there by Sar to get it back and get some redemption. Lonzo has been incredible tonight. Jalen Brown is blocked, I believe, by Saar. Goes back out to White. He misses Keegan. Cam Thomas going to pull a three on the break. In and out. Defense from Saar. Keegan pushing. Thomas for three. Missed it. Saar offensive rebound. Pushes Tatum out of the way and then throws it down. A huge sequence there from Alexander Saar. He is... He's not a great offensive player or even a good offensive player just yet in his career, but his impact is immense. Tatum pull up three. Missed it. Rebound goes to Saar again. 17 rebounds. He's got Jalen Brown on him. Spins and throws it down again and gives us the lead. 13 points, 17 rebounds, and a pair of blocks, I believe. Alexander Saar is doing it all in this third quarter. Jalen Brown, tough midi, fouled by Ananobi. He got it to go. And OG will take an early exit to the bench. He has been not great tonight. And Celtics regain the lead just like that. Lonzo behind the back. It's past Holiday. Saar left alone. He's fouled. Ooh, that chance in an and one. Alexander Saar is hooping though. I don't know what that defense was, but Saar got wide open. It's Christie. Who I trust as a defender. Elias pokes it free. Christie picks it up. Pass Porzingis with ease. And another throw down there for Max Christie. Elias, man, he's had a really good game. He only has five points and two rebounds, but a steal right there. Some key defense, and it's a two point lead for us. Brown over Christie. In and out. Dillingham. Christie leaks out for a three now. And he knocks it down. Max Christie's had a beautiful game tonight. Now. Has Ty Jerome. Going to pull the three. And knock it down. Cam Thomas with 23 points. Stolen by Jalen Brown. Good. Help side defense. Drew Holiday out of all people. Getting up there and throwing it down. Seven point game. Seven seconds remaining here in the third. Cam. Floater. Good. Great three quarters from Cam Thomas. And we're down by five entering the fourth in the corner. In and out. And we are starting to go a little bit cold now. Tatum pull up three. Double digit lead for the Celtics. Need a timeout. Right back here after the timeout. We got Saar and Lonzo Ball back into this game. Elias is in right now. Lonzo open for three, knocks it down. Big hit there from Lonzo. 
who has hit five triples and he's got eight assists tonight. Having a real good performance. And Elias picks up a foul right there. Kyle Anderson now. Gordon Hayward. And a foul on Lonzo. And I'm going to challenge that. That looks like a clean block to me. Uh, I don't know if it will stand. This 2K's uh, challenging system is not the greatest thing in the world. Uh, let's see. That looks like all ball to me. I mean, his hand phases through Ty Jerome's hands. But it looked like it was all ball initially. Yeah, they're not going to overturn that bullshit. Uh, all right, well, it looks like the Celtics will have three free throws coming up then. Terrible call from the refs. They don't know what they're doing, in my opinion. First one's good. Second one's good. And third one is good. All right, 11 point game. Got an uphill climb. Lonzo now. Christy pump fake. It's past Kyle Anderson. Layup, no good. Keegan offensive rebound. Christy will pull a three now. Missed it. Saar offensive rebound. Fake. And throw down. Alexander Saar. A monstrous game. He's a plus minus of 16, so make sure we'll keep him in the game for as long as we can. 17 points, 18 rebounds, an assist, and a few blocks. Tatum being beat up by Keegan Murray. Excellent defense. Bradshaw, another three. Aaron Bradshaw is three for three from outside. He's not missing. And this Celtics squad has caught our guys by surprise. Not by surprise, but... I mean, I feel like we should be playing a lot better than we are right now. Christie works his way open for three. That one falls. 18 points for Max Christie. I'm going to close the game with him. He's given us more than OG has this far. OG has not even scored yet tonight. As Lonzo gets the steal. I can push it a little bit. Ooh. Keegan Christie, another three. Back-to-back -back triples from Max Christie, 21 points. And just like that, it's a six point game. Good job there by Lonzo. Picking the pocket, Tatum. Step back, deep three. Doesn't matter how deep it is. Jason Tatum has turned into Steph Curry in this game. Another big hit there for the Bulls, or for the Celtics. Looking for Christie. Got open for three again. Three triples in a row for Max Christie. He is on fire right now. It is so exciting to have him. He is only 22 years old. It's been excellent for us tonight. Ty Jerome floater over Elias and Keegan Murray. Ty Jerome has given this team unbelievable minutes. See why the Celtics are a huge contender. Christie now. Comes off the screens. Christie attacks. Fouled. Couldn't bank it in. But he's got a chance at two free throws. Scored nine straight points for us. It's been ridiculous in this fourth quarter. Misses the first. That's fine. As long as he hits the second, I'll be okay does hit the second 25 him and cam with 25 each six minutes to go in this game lonzo picks the pocket of holiday again lonzo pushing keegan now back to lonzo we'll run our offense sar on the dive throw it down was looking to hit max christie potentially but sar was wide open and another assist for Lon or uh, who was that for? Might have been for oh, it's for Keegan. Keegan's got five assists tonight. Playing really good. 
Hayward, Tatum's wide open. And we survived there. I don't know how he didn't knock that down. Cam Thomas to Saar. Saar past Bradshaw. And he passes it to the wrong person. Oh, we're just playing a little too antsy right now. We need to slow down and just get the good shots that we can get. And Saar wins the tip. Saar has Tatum on him. I'm wondering if he can score off of that. Saar is not even going to take a shot. Bro. Tried to take it when he caught the ball, but, you know, he, he just pump faked and then tried to take it again. Just doesn't shoot. So we don't score on that possession there, which we needed to. Lonzo's defense has been insane. Another steal that time for Lonzo. Corner, Christie, pump fake. Crossover on Jalen Brown, and he's fouled again. The aggressiveness from Max Christie in this fourth quarter is keeping us in his game. He's got, wow, that's 11 points now in this fourth quarter at least. And make it 12. And just like that, it's a three-point game. Him and Lonzo have been carrying us in this fourth quarter. Tatum now. And stolen by Keegan Murray. Sar picks it up to Keegan for the jam. It's a one-point game just like that. Defense is turning into offense. That's three straight steals from us in this fourth quarter alone. We have four in total for the quarter. Tatum. That's going to go out. He misses. Sar. Cam. Christie for the lead. Knocks it down. Max Christie with the fourth quarter of his life. His fourth triple of this fourth quarter alone. He's got 30. The lead is up to two. All right, man. This team is hooping. Brown now to Tatum. Oh my gosh, what a move. He misses again though. Ward goes to Saar. Christie on fire. Missed it. That one looked like it might go. But it didn't. A foul on Cam. That's his third. And the Celtics only need one more foul until they're in the bonus. So we got to be a lot more careful these last four minutes. Holiday. Tatum. Not going to miss again. It's been ridiculous tonight from outside. Lonzo now. Comes off the screen. They leave Keegan open for three. And he knocks it down. Keegan Murray was 16. Another assist for Lonzo. This is a battle of the heavyweight offenses. Neither team getting stops. We're both playing good defense, but you know, these guys are hitting shots out here. Tatum trying to bully Keegan. Great defense from Keegan Murray, and we get the stop. Keegan, Cam Thomas, Christie pulls another three. That one no good. Alexander Saar! Rebound and a body. 21 and 22 for Alexander Saar. This has been an unbelievable game from a few guys on our squad. Keegan gets the steal. Cam, Lonzo, going to throw it down. It's a six-point lead. This Celtics crowd is in disbelief. We are hooping tonight. Holiday to Chris Stapps. They're looking for Tatum. He's been money tonight. He's not going to hit that one, though. Saar with the board. Cam pushing. Spinning, breaks White's ankles, and he knocks down the mid-range, Jay. 27-7 for Cam Thomas. This has been a magical run here. We almost get a steal. Tatum inside to Porzingis. He's thinking about going up with it. Saar isn't budging. Tatum, tough three. Missed it. Another board for Saar. The Celtics have gone cold. Cam Thomas going to pull a deep three. Because why not and knock it down? 11-point lead. What a game. Timeout. 
What a fourth quarter. What a past few minutes from us. Cam, Thomas, Max, Christie, Saar, Lonzo, and Keegan have undoubtedly been our best. Like, this is the best performance from this team this year. Like, this is unbelievable. Chris Stapps inside. Tatum, probably going to hit that one. Does. It's not over yet. It's not over just yet. Still an eight-point game. Cam. Guarded by Derek White. Screen from Saar. Christie. Keegan. Pump fake. Got Tatum off his feet. Lonzo. Oh my gosh. Saucing up Drew Holiday. Can't hit though. Offensive rebound goes to Keegan. Oh, a steal there by Jalen Brown. Uh, Derek White. Mitty. Missed it. Huge miss there. And another ridiculous steal from the Celtics. Derek White lays it up. Six point game. All right, we got to take our time here. And just get an open shot. Make sure it's a good shot as well. Cam now. They want the ISO. I don't want an ISO against Derek White. He's a pretty good defender. Come downhill. Lonzo open for three over Brown. Got it. The dagger belongs to Lonzo Ball. 20 points and nine assists from Lonzo. Eighth assist for Cam Thomas. This was a beautiful game tonight. Tatum floater is probably good. It is good. But not enough help from for Jason Tatum tonight. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Max Christie. Spinning. 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 Saar fouled. Didn't want to get a three in the key there. What a game, though, from the squad. Alexander Saar. A 20-20 game with two or three blocks? Ridiculous. Man, Celtics not calling a timeout here. Probably just going to wave the white flag. Tatum mid-range. Missed it. And that's the game. Just hold this one. I mean, we still have to take a shot regardless. Eventually, as the lob to Saar seals it, 25 points, 25 rebounds from Alexander Saar. This game is over. Tatum hits for good measure. A 130-121 to win against one of the better teams in the league on paper at least they are under 500 which is weird 46 from Tatum but everybody else didn't give him enough help Bradshaw was good Holiday was good too Jalen Brown clamped absolutely clamped um Chris Stapps didn't do much either but this is I hold on, I gotta take a screenshot of this this is beautiful 30 points 8, eight assists for Cam Thomas 11 to 17 4 and 9 Max Christie, 30 points, 4 assists off the bench. 10 of 19 from the field, 7 of 13 from deep, 3 of 4 from the line. Alexander Saar, 25 points, 25 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, 1 block, 10 of 14, hit a 3, perfect from the line. Lonzo with 20 points, 9 assists, 7 of 10, 6 of 9. Keegan, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals. 6 of 10, 4 of 7 from deep. Elias played great. Dillingham was okay. Shelton, OG was not good, but every dog has their days. Um, hell of a game from us. We hit 23 of our 47 threes. We had 34 assists. Dominant. Just a dominant fourth quarter. I mean, 43 to 29. Where's the scoring summary of the fourth quarter where we had like a huge run? Yeah, look at these runs we had. Max Christie free throw, Saar dunk, Christie free throw, free throw, dunk, three-pointer. Jason Tatum said, all right, let me get one. Keegan Murray three, Alexander Saar dunk, Lonzo dunk, Cam Thomas three, I mean jump shot. Cam Thomas triple, that was just kind of a fuck you shot. Um, Beautiful, though. Um, Beautiful. I already got the screenshot that I wanted for this game, so let's go back out. And then I'll pr I think our next game is on Christmas, I wanted to say. 
Um, yeah, Christmas against the Bucks team we lost to in the playoffs. I think it's going to be a really good matchup. This is a really hard team to play against. Um, but yeah, um, I'm excited though. This team looks pretty good. I'm probably gonna um, where is he? I'm probably gonna upgrade Andre Jackson to like an 80 because I feel like uh, by year three in his career he'd be really good for this team because he's been good in real life for him. So uh, probably give him an upgrade and then yeah, we'll go again from there. We'll play against the Bucks on Christmas Day. You know we haven't had a Christmas Day game I don't think ever uh, didn't have one last year didn't have one in this 2k yet and we will in uh season three so yeah that is the episode I'll see you guys next time I hope you enjoyed peace